victory. We told you yesterday about this report from the Daily Signal claiming a leaked policy memo from the network exposes their stance on woke ideology. The report claims that employees are allowed to use whatever bathrooms they want according to whatever gender they choose that day. They're allowed to dress and align with their preferred gender and be addressed by their preferred pronouns at work. Fox also offers help to employees to come up with a, quote, workplace transition plan to ease their gender transition at work. And of course, it comes on the heels of Fox parting ways with host Tucker Carlson. Answers still remain about why exactly they decided to pull the plug on the number one rated cable news show. Chadwick Moore is currently writing about Carlson in his new biography, and he says he has the scoop on the real reason why Fox canceled Tucker. Tucker simply responded to that tweet with the iconic eyeball emojis, two eyeballs, as in, look at this. Chadwick Moore joins us now. He is the author of the new Tucker book. Also with us, Mary Margaret O'Hanlon, who is the senior reporter at the Daily Signal, and she broke that story about the policies at Fox News. Great to have you both here. Great to be here. Chadwick, first to you, congratulations. I know the book is not out yet, but I understand it's already a bestseller. Yeah, it's already a, a bestseller. It's for uh, available pre-order now. If you go to TuckerTheBook.com, you can buy it from uh, Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, or directly from the publisher if you'd like, and it will be released on July 18th. Outselling Michelle Obama's book, I believe. Did I see that correctly? Yeah, we knocked Michelle Obama out of the number one slot in uh, political uh, biographies. So um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that, that is pretty cool. Well, I can't wait to read it. Um, let's also talk about what you're exposing in the book here. And you say uh, you posted on Twitter yesterday that there is some information that, you know, can't wait for your book to be released. It comes out on July, July 18th. Tell us what that information is. Right. So this is according to two sources uh, who are um, very close to the situation, have intimate knowledge of the situation, who both independently confirmed to me that the reason why his show was pulled off the air, uh, he's not fired. He's still an employee of Fox News. He's still under contract. But the reason why his show was pulled off the air uh, was because it was a condition that was in the agreement uh, with the settlement with Dominion Voting Systems. Now, Dominion has denied this. Fox News has denied this. Uh, this has also been reported elsewhere, and it was reported elsewhere. Bef uh, uh, that I, uh, that reports came out after I already knew this information. There are other Fox producers who are on hidden camera. Those producers are not my sources who have also confirmed this. But my sources who are very close to the situation said this is indeed the fact, and that it came just moments before Fox and Dominion were about to go to trial. Fox desperately did not want to go to trial, and uh, this agreement was reached that they would take him off the air as a part of the condition. And Mary, there's, you know, the, the accusations and based on your reporting is that there's a massive culture change at, at Fox News. Gone are the old days of Roger Ailes and the kind of ethic that really represented middle America. Today, it's all about the Murdoch family, the top-down management style. What's, what's more important is what happens in New York and Washington, D.C. than what happens in the middle America. Tell us what you found in your reporting. Yeah, so what we learned in our report is that it appears Fox is implementing a lot of woke policies through its corporate company handbook. And this, what we heard is that a lot of this is coming from the top. So, for example, in this company handbook, employees are told that they can come up with a workplace transition plan. That means a workplace gender transition plan where they can work with Fox to come up with a plan for when they're going to start using the bathroom that aligns with their gender identity, not their biological sex, when their pro co-workers are going to start using preferred pronouns for them, different things like that, when they're going to announce that they're transitioning. They also specifically say that you can use the bathroom that aligns with your gender identity, that your colleagues need to call you by your preferred pronouns, and a whole slew of <clears throat> other things it's all laid out in this company handbook, which all Fox employees have. That's from corporate. Uh, and we found this really interesting, particularly because, as we all know, Fox likes to talk about these things on air. Um, you know, we'll often hear about biological males being in women's spaces, but then you have this Fox company handbook where it specifically says that this is company policy. Mm. We also spoke mm. to a whole bunch of people who had other really interesting things to say about what Fox's 
culture is like. That it was interesting yesterday too, because Mary's reporting went kind of viral, and I, Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire was talking about it, and he specifically mentioned that he was banned from appearing on Fox News to talk about his uh, "I Am a Woman" uh, documentary that he made and all of his great reporting that he's done exposing, like the University of Vanderbilt Medical School uh, for their, you know, kind of for-profit motive for doing a lot of these surgeries. But but Matt Walsh said that Tucker kind of broke the ranks with Fox, and he would have him on still. But again, this is another example of how the network has changed because Tucker's gone. Folks like Matt Walsh are no longer allowed on Fox News. That was something that we talked about in our report as well. I had a source tell me that uh, Matt Walsh was blacklisted at Fox over a June 2022 segment that Fox did on a child's gender transition. You can um, find that segment still online. I believe it was produced or at least reported on by Brian Linus, who works at Fox News. Uh, this segment praised the child's gender transition. It even included a picture of Senator Scott Weiner from California, who has been involved in a lot of very questionable legislation in California promoting uh, gender transitions. Uh, we got a lot of reporting on that at Daily Signal and then at Daily Caller, that, where I previously worked. But this segment, when Walsh criticized it, apparently got Walsh blacklisted since June 2022, and Tucker and Tucker Carlson tonight would have him on as much as they could. But producers were told, is what I was told, producers were told that they had to fight to get him on because Fox wasn't a huge fan of him anymore. Well, Chad, you spent a lot of time with Tucker wor working on this book, talking to him, interviewing his family. Uh, is there going to be an addendum to the book? Are we going to find out what his next move is when it's released by uh, July 18th? Will we know by then? Uh, yeah, well, the book is fully updated with all of the latest developments. I, I've talked to him several times since he got noticed that uh, that his show is being pulled off the air. Um, he has announced on Twitter before that he will be starting a show on Twitter. So I have some more information about that. Uh, we do not know yet when that show will launch or what it's going to exactly look like. But of course, he's under constraints right now because of his contract, which extends until after the 2024 election, presidential election. So it appears that uh, if Fox has their way, he will be forced to be silent and not have a voice until after the next presidential election. Or I should say perhaps Dominion or Fox, if that news is true. Uh, but he's, of course, right now preparing to fight that. And he would yeah. like out of that contract as soon as possible. And like an evil medieval king locking the princess up in a tower. That's what they want to do with Tucker Carlson, the information that so many Americans still want. Great to see you. Great job, Mary Margaret O'Hanlon. Chadwick Moore, can't wait to read the new Tucker book. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you.